Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to another day of Closed on Monday. This is your boy Montavious Skelton. This video is being sponsored by ChargeCoin. My guy in this video is Joseph. He's the founder of ChargeCoin. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to trade ChargeCoin. First off, we will use this site called AnySwap. AnySwap will show you how to create a wallet, which is right here. I already have access to my wallet, so I will show you guys how to find how to connect a wallet so let me go off this site just a little bit um, this option would say connect wallet like I said I already have my wallet already connected I'm going to um, get back on here it's ether you have on the uh, left side connect wallet on this side once you click that it's going to ask you connect you do that it's going to ask you to download or whatever however like I said I already got my wallet I already got my address already in here so the next screen will show up like this will ask you, ask you to download either Chrome, iOS, or Android. I actually done it on my phone also just to keep uh, information about my wallet or what, what's all in my wallet, which I already done. Um, the next option though is like I said, download the Chrome extension. Once you download the Chrome extension, you will go to, uh, I think it will look like this. Once you get it on there, you have it on your screen, then you have this option to add, add the money that you need to add. So. Once you add the money you need, you'll have to continue this with wire. I'm guessing they say wire. Not good at pronouncing, <laughs> but that's fine. I wouldn't suggest you to do that much as a start because you don't really know nothing about this. So for the first timers, I would actually tell you to do at least $50, if not a little bit less than that, just to get everything to go over. You do have fees, and I think this fees, these fees are standard fees. I'm not sure if it will go up if you... Yeah, there, these are standard fees. I think the top transaction fee would go up, but the network fee would not go up. So that's fine. That's okay. I'm only talking fast because I only got three minutes on this video to do this. So, anyways, like I said, we'll do $50. I already done mine, so I'm not going to go through all of that. We'll go back. Once you do that, it'll allow it some time. It might take three to four hours, it might take an hour. I really don't know. Uh, last time I done it, it only taken, I think, an hour, but it's different for everybody. Depending on what you did, and I think I did Apple Pay instead of card payments. Whatever you prefer. So we'll go back to um, any swap. Once you go to any swap, it allow you to actually trade a swap your uh from from one crypto to another crypto. So you will choose CHG. You type it in, and it should pop up right away. Once you choose CHG, that's giving it clarity that it's you swapping Ether to CHG. So in other hands, if you got fifty dollars in your account, I think fifty dollars and it's the value of this coin is around fifty-three cents. So let's just say we're going to do um, let's just say we're going to do eight or eighty-five to be to be exact, eighty-five. So in order for this transaction to go through, you would at least have to have that much. You know what I'm saying? So. It's pretty easy from that point. You'll hit the swap button. Once you hit the swap button, all of that would transfer over to your new wallet, which is MetaMask. And it'll show and it and it will show up. So once it show up, let me go back. You have the total right here. But you'll have the uh, amount, it'll say CHC on the bottom. You have an Ether account and you have a charge point account. But that's all and that's you know, I try to make this video quick, simply as possible but um if you got any question don't hesitate to call or don't hesitate to text me and ask for, for more information i doubt you would need uh, more information um this is very simple guys so um until next time thanks for tuning in